Hello boys and girls, Elias here. Today I have an unboxing of this all-in-one water cooling set from Enermax. This is the Liquid Max 220S. 120 is for the 120 millimeter radiator and fan. I have never used uh, Enermax's uh, all-in-one water cooling uh, sets. This is the first one, so uh, let's open it up and see what we have in the box. And just outside of the box we have some uh, information saying what is included and the, this uh, double bat uh, wing, bat wing design uh, fan blades that uh, you get in this package. So what do we get in the box? First of all, uh, we get two fans for push-pull configuration for those who like it. It's very nice of them to have it in push-pull. You will be uh, surprised to see that they are rubberized which you don't see from many for Corsair for example does not provide rubberized fans minimizing the vibration and noise so it's very nice to see it from Enermax and this uh, bat wing uh, design for the fan blades I don't know if uh, they should provide more cooling but uh, I don't think that they would do just just for design so I'm pretty sure that they are trying to improve the cooling and that's why they have um, implemented this design. Anyway, we're going to run the tests with this uh, cooler and uh, keep you updated about the, the performance. Uh, here is an accessory box with uh, some connections and uh, fan headers, as you can see, to connect it to your fan controller if you have one. One more power uh, if you would like to, if you don't have enough power to power up your and fans so you can connect it to Molex if you don't have a proper connection here. Some brackets for your motherboards so you can install it on uh, most of the Intel's and the AMD's uh, sockets starting from 775 from uh, Intel and AM12 and 3 uh, from AMD. Some more brackets, cooling compound, some more screws and here is the cooler itself so we have the 120 millimeter radiator here it's not uh, very thick it's uh, 20 millimeters thick I believe 25 millimeters the radiator itself it's 20 millimeters uh, these uh, rubber tubes are quite solid I like them and pump section with the uh, water block itself it also look uh, very solid uh, it's a copper base and here we have the fan connector that uh, you're going to connect it to your motherboard to run the pump. So uh, I do not see any cable, USB uh, cable that would allow you to control the, the fan through a software. So it should be done through the fan controller or your, through your motherboard so you can uh, control, it, control it through, through BIOS. So we're going to um, set it up, connect it, uh, and uh, share the details with you. Uh, and for now, like this video if you think it was helpful and if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos from us and to help us to get more content, more stuff uh, for you. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.